Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Brother, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to create a virtual view in Enterprise Data Manager, that is ADM. Okay, so in this video, the agenda is uh, what is virtual view? When do we create virtual view? How to create virtual view? Okay, let's see one by one. What is virtual view? A virtual view is a type of table that uses SQL logic to convert the format of retired data. Uh, we can create virtual views for any task that we can specify in the SQL format. Okay, next thing is when do we create a virtual view? We can create a virtual views when we need to store retired data in a different format from the data on the production database. We can also create a virtual views when we cannot create views on a read-only source database or we do not have permission to create any views on the source database. To display a uh, converted data, Data Archive uses the SQL created in the virtual view instead of the dynamically generated SQL used during an archive or retirement job. So we can create a virtual views for the data we can plan to retire. Create a virtual view to accomplish these following goals. Hide the complexity of the underlying data to create a simpler user experience. Save space and cost because the table is virtual. Simplify the process of capturing metadata from the retirement database. So now let's see how to create a virtual view. To create a virtual view, we need to use the virtual view wizard from the EDM. So let's launch the EDM from the ILM UI. Log into ILM UI. Go to Accelerators. Click on Enterprise Data Manager. And the EDM will be JNLP file will be downloaded. Let's keep. Click on that JNLP file to launch the EDM. Click on Accept Risk. Then click on Run. Then the EDM will be launched. Okay. Once the EDM is launched, click on View and Constraints and navigate to the application version okay right click on the application version and click on create view so virtual view wizard is displayed now provide the uh, name for the virtual view just give in underscore test and click on next so these are the list of schemas available in the database select the uh, specific schema on which you want to create the virtual view click on next here you need to add the skiers, um, the columns for the view once the columns are added then click on next here we need to write the SQL uh, for which uh, we need to create the virtual view so as here you can see I want to create a virtual view on the table tab 1 for these three columns so the order of the uh, columns in the select list and the order of the columns we create in the virtual view should be same. Okay, once we enter the SQL, click on finish to uh, complete creating the virtual view. So here the message you can see virtual view has been created successfully. Click on OK. So when you go to constraints and expand that particular schema, you will be able to see that scheme and uh, virtual view. So now this uh, view is uh, like uh, same as other tables. You can use this view in uh, adding any other entities and archiving or retiring using this uh, virtual view. So this completes how to create the virtual view. Um, this is it from this video. We would love to hear from you. Uh, you can give the feedback on this video uh, by using the following link. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.